Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. In this video, I would like to talk about the front lines and if it is better in Battlefield 5 than it was in Battlefield 1. Now, Battlefield 1, for front lines being a new game mode, did an amazing job at making it a fun game mode. I think front lines in Battlefield Fun was one of my favorite game modes for a while. Um, until I realized I don't like playing on the same map 24-7 because front lines in Battlefield 1, before the timer, was put in last for god knows how long one time rag and i joined a match i think it went to two and a half to three and a half hours or something like that. one match it was a good match though so front lines in battlefield 5 it is used in many ways there's some front lines maps with one objective there's one with i want to say seven objectives and you each have three bombs there's Twisted Steel, which has five objectives and you have three bombs. And it's just generally like, Frontlines in this game is more than just five points and two bombs. It depends on the map. And it's really nice because Frontlines is always, the, the biggest issue I have with Frontlines is the fact that you can't time a Frontlines match very well. You know, they say it's an average of 25 minutes. You can't time a match though. Sometimes it's five, sometimes it's 50. So it's nice that First, they have the maps, and they have the small front lines modes, the big ones. Um, the fortification system makes front lines really fun, and I like how you're not just conf con confined into the suggested play space, you can use the whole map. And I like that, technically I guess it's less realistic, but I like how you can use the whole map, or at least most of the map. Not the whole map, but more of the map than you would expect. And it adds for some fun gameplay of like, Sometimes doing a pro play and like going ahead of the enemies and stuff. Or you can stay back and fortify yourself with the fortification system while you're fighting. I think the fortification system adds to front lines a lot. Because, you know, you're sitting there and maybe they take an objective, but you know, you just kind of know. You look at the positions and you say, okay, I'm going to lose it. I want to make defending this objective easier. So you build all the fortifications facing the enemy and then it's easier to defend. And... Then they gotta swap their classes or blow stuff up or just lose the objective. And I really like that about Frontlines. I like that you can make the decision to play it a little more defensively and it's not just offense, 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 offense. Because it works well and it makes it for some varied gameplay. Like, I'm playing as a support, right? If I wanna play with my shotgun, I can play with my shotgun. If I wanna play with my mounted LMG, I can do that. If I want to play more defensively with any of the classes, even Medic, I can do that. Because there's always going to be the threat of flanks, so maybe you want a Medic on defense. You know, all this, all these ways to play front lines within the game. It creates an amazing sandbox that works really well. And I like how there's a lot of vehicles, and I just, I just like the way that it is. I like how they also included it in Grand Operations as some of the final modes for some of the maps. It works really well as an ending grand operations mode. Like, it's kind of nice because when you're playing grand operations and you, Frontlines is the last mode, you know that you eliminated the attacker bonus and that you, you fought to put yourselves on an even playing field. And then you play through the Frontlines mode. It's it just for what grand operations is and for what Frontlines is and what Battlefield 5 is, it's the, it's probably, in my opinion, Frontlines is the perfect mode for Battlefield 5, not Battlefield 1. Like, Battlefield 1 did it great, but Battlefield 5 does it so much better. I don't know why, like, I like Frontlines more than Conquest in Battlefield 5 right now, and Conquest is the basic mode. And I think it has to do with the fortification system added on to the sandbox that Battlefield 5 provides for the players. And that's really it for this video, guys. That's what I want to talk about. I think Frontlines is definitely better in Battlefield 5 than Battlefield 1. And it's an even more fun game mode. And I just, I enjoy it. And it's nice. And really, Rag and I have had some games where, I mean, Twisted Steel, the timer was 45 minutes, but it only went down when the objective was active. So it lasted an hour and a half, kind of, pretty much. It seemed like an hour and a half. And at the very end, we ended up untying it. It was tied where three, three objectives and untied it. it. It felt so amazing. So let me know what you guys think about front lines in Battlefield 5 in the comments below. 
Thank you for watching. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you in the next episode, stream vlog, or Steam it post of whatever I decide to make.